Well, good evening, guys. This is Do Hair 6000. How is everyone doing this evening? It has been a minute since I have been before you guys. I'm sorry. I've had a lot going on. Uh, my, hub, my hubby has been in and out, back and forth, you know, home, home on the boat, home on the boat. So I try to spend a lot of time, me and the kids, we try to spend a lot of time with him when he's in and out like that, doing family things, catching, you know, catching, catching up. Um, just spending a lot of family time together, and then you just got regular everyday life that goes on. So, I apologize for being gone from you guys for so long, but I am back. And today, I am going to be sharing with you guys um, my hair. If you can remember the last time I made my vi a video, it was a update on my crochet braids and I was showing you guys how I cleanse my crochet braids how I cleanse my scalp and I also did a perimeter touch up of my crochet braids um, on that video so as you can see I have a scarf on my head so that means I have taken out my crochet braids yes I have just got finished taking them out and I wanted to share with you guys how much new growth I have um, I'm going to show you guys what my hair looks like up under here. It is a hot mess, so beware. And I'm going to um, tell you guys my next step I'm going to be doing after I comb all my hair out, my step, my next step that I'm going to be doing. And then I'm going to do my other processes. I'm not going to show you guys how I shampoo and condition my hair. Um, but it'll probably be a three-part video, two-part video, three-part video. It won't be that long, hopefully. Um, but I will. I want to show you guys the before and you know the ending process. Um, I hope my hair grew some. I hope I got some length. Um, I am not really too big on length. My hair is a good length for me. I'm happy at the length that my hair is. I take care of my hair very well. Um, it grows, but length is not my thing. I want my hair to stay healthy, and I want my hair to thicken up, thicken up some. So basically, um. As usual, you know, I have my hair regimen. I always take good care of my hair. I have different oils that I use in my hair for different reasons, for different um, matters that I'm trying to target and take care of. So hopefully, you know, if my hair grew, whoopee, I'm not going to fuss about it. If it grew and got longer, it grew and got longer, hey, I'm happy. But I hope it thickened up a little bit. So I'm going to take this scarf off, guys. Beware, beware, beware. So, okay. Oh, before I take it off, like I said, I just took my crochet braids out, and actually I am past due my time. I usually only keep my crochets in for like two and a half months, the longest, the longest. So I have really slipped. Like I said, we had a lot going on, but hubby going in and out, family time, just trying to get things situated and together. So I really didn't have a lot of time to sit down and do my hair. Um, and I found and made some time today because I knew I had to take them out. If I had have left them in until next week, the 22nd, I would have been pushing a whole three months. And I don't leave my braids in that good. And it's not good to leave your braids in that long. Even if you are taking good care of your hair, moisturizing your hair, cleansing your scalp. You just don't want to leave braids or uh, sew-ins or things of that nature in your hair that long. Put it in, do your maintenance uh, for your amount of time, take it out, and then go ahead and put your next style back in. So that's how I maintain, you know, healthiness of my hair, my, my clients, my daughter's hair. That's just my regimen. Now, uh, when I take this off, you guys will see a lot of dirt, a lot of buildup around the perimeter of my hair. So, I don't want to hear no comments, y'all. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. And the moment of unveiling hot mess. Woo! Hot mess, y'all. Hot mess. So, this is it. Like I said, I just took my crochet braids out probably about an hour ago. And this is try to get a good view for you guys this is my new growth all of this that I am pulling let me turn to the side there 
That is total new growth. And I'm sure the back looks just as bad. I didn't look at the back of my hair, but as you can see, I did comb out the first base uh, corn roll that I had in the back. So I combed that out. And yes, this is my hair after my too long of, of a time period of my crochet braids in. So, but you know, I'm happy. I have a good amount. I have a very good amount of leave. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I have a very good amount of new growth. So I am very happy about that. My hair is actually very still, it's, it's soft and still it's moisturized. You guys probably can't see, no you can't see, but there's oil on my fingers. Because I kept my hair moisturized, oiled, my scalp greased every day. So, you know, my hair did not lose a bit of moisture while it was in my crochet braids. Now, what I'm about to do is... I am going to comb all my cro all of my cornrows out. Um, you guys won't see that. You know how to comb out cornrows from your hair. But I'm going to comb out my cornrows. I'm going to section my hair off in four sections. And I am going to pre-pull my hair. Now, I don't I hardly ever pre-pull my hair unless I have taken out cornrows, individuals, or crochet braids. Besides that, I don't pre-poo my hair. I will co-wash my hair, but I don't pre-poo my hair because I usually either wear my natural hair out in a wrap or I'm wearing wigs. So, you know, there's really no necessity or reason for me to pre-poo my hair all the time. Um, but I will show you guys the three products that I'm going to use to pre-poo my hair. And uh, these products that... I'm using, you don't necessarily have to use this if you decide to pre-pull your hair. There is actually no right or no wrong way to pre-pull your hair. Everybody uses something different. Some people just use straight conditioner. Some people just use a bunch of oils together. Some people may use a conditioner and an oil. Um, some people use yogurt, honey, mayo, eggs. There's no right or wrong way to pre-pull your hair as long as you are locking that moisture in before you shampoo your hair and you pre-pull your hair while it's dry you want to lock that moisture in your hair while it's dry so the three products that I'm going to use to pre-pull my hair are now my base for my pre-pull is going to be my favorite conditioner that I'm going to always love is my cream of nature moisture extreme conditioner after that I'm going to put in I'm going to mix in my virgin coconut oil and then I'm going to mix in some sweet almond oil 100 percent pure moisturizing oil so these three products that you see right here are the products that I'm going to use to pre-pool my hair I'm going to pull all of them in a bowl. I will leave down below the measurements. I'm going to pour an equal amount of them in a bowl, mix it up really, really good, get it really, really creamy, apply it in each section. Once I apply it through, comb it through really good, I will take that section and just twist it. Just nicely twist it and then clamp that section of hair up. I'm going to do that to all four sections and usually I will sit under the dryer to get the um, moisture to lock in. This time I'm just going to use my natural body heat. So once I put everything in, comb it through, twist it up, I'm going to just put a plastic cap on my head and I'll probably sit for 45 minutes with the plastic cap on my head and just let my natural body heat just lock that moisture into my hair. Once my 45 minutes is up, I'm going to uh, warm water, rinse this conditioner out, you got to rinse it out really good because the coconut oil, you know, it, it's going to try to, um, you know, seep itself into your hair. So you got to rinse it out really, really good. Um, and then if I feel I need to do a light shampoo, I will do a light shampoo. Um, I have gotten, I have did some research on some sulfate-free shampoos. And so far I have 
come across one that I like. I don't like the conditioner to it, but I like the shampoo to it. So if I feel that once I rinse all of this out, if I need to shampoo it really lightly, I will shampoo it with the sulfate-free shampoo that I have found, and I will show you guys that shampoo when I come back. But this is my first step in my first video after I have taken out my crochet braids. You guys have saw the madness, the new growth, all the dirt. I apologize again, but like I said, don't y'all send me no bad comments. I told you why I look like this. Okay, guys, so this is um, my reveal of what I look like after I have taken out my crochet braids, how bad it looks. <laughs> But I'm going to go and pre-poo my hair, come back, and show you guys my next step. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for part two, okay? Bye-bye.